Well, good morning, guys. Um, bit of a, I guess, late night last night. By the time we'd arrive, we were catching up with uh, family, obviously, and uh, the kids were excited, everybody was excited. We all went inside and checked out the house and sat down and had a few drinks and put the kids, the kids to bed and whatnot. So it was a bit of a, a hectic afternoon. Didn't really get the camera out and film too much. But uh, basically this morning we've gotten up, we've had coffees, and the kids are now inside playing around with uh, Omar and Opa. So yeah, we're just getting a few bits and pieces done in here. We've had a couple of Zoom calls this morning, uh, getting a few things organized because tonight is the night for the part two of the van reveal. So if you haven't seen that, jump over here. We'll put a link up at the top here for you to go and check it out. Um, yeah, just really showcasing the inside of the van, all the things that we've done to make it nice and homely for us now going forward for our new adventures. And yeah, pretty exciting stuff. But yeah, Sean's just down here on the laptop, getting a few bits and pieces done. Got a little bit of running around to do today. Got a couple of bits and pieces over at Bunnings, bottle shops, things like that. Just general stuff so we can get organized. We actually haven't had shopping done for a long time. So pretty much all the food that's in here is either going off or has gone off and we need to get rid of. It's like, that's like embarrassing. Oh, well it is what it is. It's been hectic. Like, oh. We've smashed out so many kilometers in the last two days getting up here. Um, like to stop in and grab food and bits and pieces. It's almost not even worth it until we actually got here. So today is one of those days where we're just getting life sorted and buying a few of those things. We were actually talking last night with the parents um, and they said there's quite a, quite a lot of fresh fruit markets. Um, I think what there's Wednesday. Fresh fruit markets? Fresh, f fresh fruit markets. Why is that so hard to say? Fresh but, um, fruit markets. Yeah, so Wednesdays, Thursdays, and they got a really big one every weekend on uh, Saturdays. So we're pretty keen to go and check out one of the smaller ones today just to have a look around. And then we might do a really big fresh fruit, fresh food. Oh my God. A fresh food shop. So very, very excited for that because it's been a long time since we've just had, you know, farmers markets in a sense with the freshest you know of foods to go and buy so it's been a long time but uh, very very keen to do that and stock the fridge up with some good quality produce so that's uh, a part of today as well so not nothing too exciting today we'll take you on the journey and see what we get up to and if we see anything cool and exciting we'll take you along for the ride as usual but until then I'm gonna get this episode sorted and get on the road well we're out and about <laughs> We've uh, driven about 10 minutes down the road. We're going to come check out these markets. So they got little small markets on a Wednesday and Thursday. I believe it's Wednesday morning and Thursday afternoons. And then they got a really big one on the weekend that we're going to go check out as well. So I'm pretty keen for that. But yeah, I thought we are. Uh, oh, you want to be carried? So I thought we'll come down and show you what the market's about. I can already hear some live music and stuff. So it should be pretty cool. Let's we'll see what we can find. So I had to pick someone up, didn't I? I don't know why you don't want to walk, mate. Hey? No. You're not really good at walking lately. No. I reckon as soon as he sees the food, he's going to be straight in there. I'll be putting him straight on the ground. And you'll be lying for the food, won't you? No. <laughs> yeah. Loves his new word, no. <laughs> We just happened to find ourselves on some tracks along the beach. Hey. True big Osborne. <laughs> oh yeah, you always gotta find the back track somewhere. This is pretty cool. There's like a heap of tracks out here and uh 
just sand hills and bits of yeah. pieces. It looks pretty cool. It's a guy on his dirt bike out on the beach right now. Yeah, it's like this big long track along uh, the beach, and then you got the beach literally right there, just the other side. Like it'd be a cool spot to come down and like spend the day in it. Yeah. Always adventuring. Hey? Eh? Follow the fun bits. It's just good being back on the road. Oh, just exploring and yeah. just checking out stuff again. It's been so long. Nearly. What happened? Uh, Did you get stuck? Uh, Chris made a big hole and that caused us to get stuck. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop filming now. <laughs> Evidence. I'm bogging the phone. Eh? Evidence. I haven't had these out for a while. <laughs> First recovery in a while. Oh, the old Max Stripes had a uh, bit of a go there. It's mm. good. Like good. this one, Mum. Well, it's good for him too because he'll um he'll get to learn like a lot more about his one. car. Mum. Well, that's what you have to do is just try Mom. it and try to figure it out. Yeah. Mm. Mum. Stuck again. Like this no, we're good. One. Oh, we're good. <laughs> like this one. What a view! This is only the car park. Hey, not bad. What do you reckon, Jack? Do you like the beach? It's pretty cool. So apparently this is a real old school pub, but the view is absolutely killer. What a day to be up here. I see the weed. Yeah, okay, well we can go to the toilet when we get in. We're trying a toilet train. Yeah, it's hard when you're in the mood when we go. Oh, we just need to be like at a free camp somewhere toilet where there's train? just, yeah, toilet train, where there's just, dirt and nothing that can get destroyed because he's really got to have a nappy in the car because every time we put him in here he wees in the car. We're just going through so many clothes at the moment. But it's ridiculous. If we're free camping we we'll just put some board shorts on him and let him car? run around. But Do you want to bring one of these? Yeah. One the or joys. two or both? Both. Okay. Lunchtime, a... another pub feed that's oh, yeah. just out. Get that belly going. Far out. <laughs> <laughs> They must be Australia's smallest <laughs> traffic lights. Look at the size of them. Did you, did you want a funny jack photo? They're tiny. Yeah. So you turn around, we're going back on the other side there. Use the pedestrian crossing. Ready? Smile. Smile at me. Can you touch the lights above you, Jack? <laughs> Can you touch the lights? Put your arms up, yeah. Yay. Go. Oh. What are we doing? Good morning. We are at Cape Hillsborough National Park, which is about 45 minutes north of Mackay. Hi. Come on. Mom. Digger. Your digger. He wants a digger. That's all right. Let's go. Okay. Um, good morning. We're at Cape Hillsborough National Park, which is about 45 minutes north of Mackay. And um, apparently early in the morning, there's kangaroos on the beach. So. We're going to 
Yes, the beach. So we're going to go check that out. And also sunrise is at six o'clock and it is now 5.55. But it's been foggy this morning, so I don't know that we'll get a really good sunrise, but this is the earliest we've been awake in a very long time. <laughs> This is really cool. Even though it's quite dark, um, quite foggy, this beach, I can only imagine what it would look like during the day with the sun out. It's stunning. So we're just walking down now. This is literally like one of those Instaverse reality sort of situations. You walk down and there's almost no one on the beach. And then you look up here, I'll show you in a second. And there must be probably a good hundred people down here. <laughs> The joys are coming to the hot spots though, very touristy. Wow, that was definitely worth the drive down. Like it's over and done with pretty quick, but the kangaroos are still kicking around. I'm glad we made sun, sunrise, sunrise. Not sunset. So used to saying sunset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, stunning spot. It's a bit of a shame that it's a bit cloudy and foggy and stuff, but it's still really beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? it's, it's still amazing. a beautiful sunrise, yeah. not sunset. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's too early. Uh, but yeah, kangaroos, it was probably, what do you reckon, about four or five? Oh, I can already see one, two, three, four, five, six. There's, I reckon so there's, probably ten. There's a good handful of bloody uh, kangaroos here, so you get a, a, enough opportunities to get some photos and some videos and stuff. So mm. they put out, um, I think it's mangrove, mangrove roots on the beach or some sort seeds. of food for them, I so that they're seeds. aware of it and they know that it's there. And they put mm. cones around them, so it's like you can watch from outside of the cones. If they come outside of the cones, then you can get close. So it's yeah. cool. Like they've done it in a smart way. Well, they've done it in a um, a good way that you're not you know inundating the kangaroos because yeah. a lot of places like this where there's no control yeah especially the amount of people that are here they get a little bit carried away yeah. and they're right up in the face and you know they're doing a bit too much in what they should it's, um, it's a bit of a shame but today i was going to say too is a sunday morning so it's probably busier than maybe what it would be some days you might yeah. get locals and things as well whereas maybe on a weekday it wouldn't be as busy i don't really know because we've not yeah, been here know. before but um, I've definitely seen photos from here before and I knew the name, so I'm glad we've come and seen it. Yeah, well it's only 45 minutes out of town, so not far really at all. Uh, it was a bit of a get up early sort of situation, but it's definitely worth yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, feeling grateful this morning. What a great way to start the morning though. Incredible. Be going to bed early tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, at least the kids anyway. Uh, Go get the drone. Alright, let's do it. What is it? Sea biscuit. Or a. Does it have a name? Sea. Um, sand. Sand. Uh, honey. Sand. Sand honey. Honey. Sand dollar. Sand dollar. Oh my goodness. Sand honey. Sand dollar. Sand honey. <laughs> Honey, honey, honey. There's tiny little legs on the side there. Well, if you honey. need to stay really still, honey. then I might be able to see them. Stay, don't move. Honey. Yeah. Sunny. Can you feel them? Sunny. It's like, it feels, um, you can feel it on your hand. See, he just moved a bit there. You can see his tentacles move every now and then. How's it feel to be back on the drone? Really good. Really good. Draining Especially something this, worth draining. Oh, like in this place is magic. Absolute magic. It's like the best time of morning. The light's really good. It's just stunning backdrop. Like it's everything. It makes me excited to like film this sort of stuff. What a spot.
We well, are back in the car. Early morning done. Yep. Seeing kangaroos on the beach. We got sunrise. Uh, pretty good morning so far. What we're planning to do now is hit the road and get back to Mackay. And I believe we're going to some more markets. Is that it's right? Pretty much, but we're not going back to Mackay. We're oh, going okay. to a place which is only five minutes away from here for Forsyth or Forsyth or. I can't remember the name of it, but wherever it is, they have markets there on Sundays and apparently they're quite big, so. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's been really nice checking out some markets again, especially in an area that has. Are we out to storm right now? Oh, we were at Opa's house in a storm. <laughs> I was like, what is it? Was that scary? About? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> that's funny. Thanks for your and input. Can you turn it off and put it on? What do we turn off? Very chatty, the mate. Light off. The lights. The well, lights there you go. Off. Wow. So, what yeah. I was saying <laughs> before I was interrupted, um, we are going to these markets. Apparently, they're pretty good, and it's really nice being in an area where there's actually like lots of local produce. So, yeah, that's interesting one, to see what one thing is. I'm really loving about Mackay is no matter where you drive, or there's you know there's things on the sides of the roads. But then there's weekend stuff where there's big markets and people getting together and just sharing fresh produce. Like we haven't seen that for so long. Like it's been a really long time, but it's really nice to see. And you kind of know that you're getting quite far north when that starts happening. Because for us, that was a memory that we had, or I had especially, of you know you're getting quite north because it's just you know produce galore, which is really really cool. So yeah, go and check out another market. We'll take you along for the ride and uh, see what we can find. Well, we're driving along and that's the markets. Uh, not much. <laughs> I think it was eight stalls or something. And the other market that was on the other day that we went to, um, most of those stalls were already there. So we've actually seen them. So change of plan now, we're going to a place called Marion to go to the Marion markets, which apparently <laughs> have really good bacon and egg burgers. Yeah. Um, and a few more markets and stuff going on there. So we'll go and have a look at that and then don't know after that. We'll see. Hopefully they have more than eight stalls. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, Jack just woke up and he's got a dead leg and he doesn't know how to deal. Where's it sore? He's in his bloody pyjamas because he destroyed all his other clothes down at the beach, didn't ya? Does it hurt? It'll be pins and Where's needles. Where's it sore? Yeah. Yeah. It'll go away though, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll get so these markets are much better. There's heaps to look at. We finally found some decent markets. What's this for now? Fourth market, Fourth yeah. Markets. We haven't seen the same markets yet. They all <laughs> seem to come in the same place. This is not too bad. It's good. Um, Come and on. then two of the slow cooked roast Come on, Oya. Two roast rolls. Yep, anything else? Uh, that's what you get. You get? And dark sausage and bread. Right. A big hot dog, sausage and bread. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Slow roasted beef roll. You're lined up and you're all ready. <laughs> Susie! Watch your leg, watch your leg. Oh. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Way too zoomed in. Hello, that's how morning faces. <laughs> Stop moving so close, I'm trying to get you in the picture and you, when you get too close I can't get you in and then I can't use it. 
Understand? You're not taking a photo of me, will you? No, so I brought it down for you. <laughs> hey, legends. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. If you need more of a Big Oz fix, head over to our website, bigozexplorers.com, for merch, information on our setup, places we've been, recipes, links to our socials, and much more. We look forward to seeing you for a new adventure next week. Cheers, guys.